In the previous lesson, we learned how to use civil geometry to place tangent lines for our alignment. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at placing horizontal curves using the simple arc tool. We're going to first place a curve between the first two tangent lines here. Then we're going to place another curve in this area between these two tangent lines. And then finally, we'll come in and place a curve between these two tangent lines. So let's begin. Let's navigate up to the feature definition toolbar. Let's toggle off the chain commands tool. We're going to come over to the civil geometry tools under the horizontal panel here. Locate the arc tools. Select the arcs. Navigate down to arc between elements and select simple arc. From here, you'll see the simple arc toolbox appear as well as a prompt attached to your cursor. So the first thing we need to do is locate our first tangent line indicated by the prompt attached to your cursor, locate first element. So we're going to locate our first tangent element. We'll see a second prompt that says locate second element. We're going to go ahead and select the second tangent line. And then from here, you'll see that there's a curve being created between those two tangents dynamically. And you can see it's asking us to key in a radius. So the first curve we're going to place is going to be a 600 foot radius. So we're going to key in 600 in the key in field here. And we're going to press enter on our keyboard and it's going to place that curve there. So once you have that keyed in, press enter on the keyboard so it locks in the value and then left click to accept. When you get to the trim extend options, set that to both so it trims up both of the uh, tangent lines so that they're tangent to the curve. Left click to accept and then the curve is placed. So let's zoom in, take a closer look at that curve. So you can see there a curve has been placed tangent to the two previous lines that we had drawn. We're going to continue along creating the rest of the curves for our project. So let's zoom out a little bit here and move into this other area here. The next thing we're going to do is place another curve, this time using a 10,000 foot radius. It's going to be a curve to the right, so you want to make sure that you um, move your cursor and keep your cursor on the right when you place this curve. So let's go ahead and continue placing our curves. So I'm going to go ahead and select my tangent line. Select my next tangent line. Key in 10,000 for the radius. Press enter on the keyboard to lock in that value. And make sure you move your cursor to the right side of the geometry, the right side of the roadway here. Left click to accept. Left click to accept the trim both option. And that goes ahead and creates the curve there for you. So now we have that curve placed. Let's go and place our final curve up near the northern portion of the project. This curve will be placed with a radius of 2100. So once again, we're just going to follow the prompts attached to our cursor. Select our first element. Select our second element. It's going to be a curve to the left. So move your cursor to the left side of the roadway. Key in 2100 for the radius. Press enter on the keyboard to lock in the value, left click to accept, left click to accept, and then the curve is placed. So you can see how easy it is to place curves between previously placed tangent lines. Now what if we need to make a change to one of these curves? Let's go back to the first curve that we placed. Let's use the element selection tool to take a look at the properties of this particular curve. I'm going to navigate up to the element selection tool. I'm going to zoom into our curve. I'm going to select it. You can see the dynamic text here shows that this is a 600 foot radius that's been applied for this curve. And if we need to change this curve for whatever reason, let's change this to 700. Simply select that dynamic text, key in 700 in the input field here. Press enter on your keyboard, and then that geometry will automatically update. This is an example of the intelligence and the rules and relationships that are built into the civil geometry elements. Anytime you make a change to this curve, it will automatically update and maintain its rules and relationships to the initial lines that it was created from. So that's how you create horizontal curves using the Place Simple Arc tool. The next video will take a look at creating the horizontal alignment by joining all the civil geometry elements together. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.